Madam, I now request the students who are not present may please be awarded the postgraduate diploma in absentia. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the director of ILM Institute for Higher Education, I award the postgraduate diploma in management in absentia to all those successful students who could not receive the diploma in person at this convocation this afternoon. Sir, I now present those meritorious students to you who have been adjudged for the award of Dr. Kulwant Rai Gold and Silver Medals for overall excellence in academic and co-curricular activities. Dr. Kulwant Rai Silver Medal for securing first position in finance in the postgraduate program 2010 is awarded to Shruti Kohli.
which is the first job in our business as a cup reporter. And then I returned as its editor 15 years later to be quickly asked to wear several hats. The marketing hat, the finance hat, the HR hat, the sales hat and the CEO hat. It just happened one day, I was just happily the editor of the paper and I was told that you have to do all this as well. And I say sometimes that if I, if I then knew how to read balance sheets, if I then knew what's happening in the marketplace, I would have never said yes. I only said yes because I had no formal management education because I didn't quite know what I was getting into. In fact, I quickly lost count of how many hats I had and perhaps it was my swollen head that helped me keep those <laughs> in their place. But fortunately, I've been lucky to get together a very fine team to pass these hats on to. But almost every day I wish I had what you are so privileged to be leaving with this evening, an education and business from one of the very fine institutes in this country. The very fact that there are campuses like IILM today is in itself a testament to how much the real world has changed since I walked up to receive my degree in botany, zoology and chemistry, if I may tell you. More than 30 years ago, in fact, 35 years ago, in 1975. Uh, followed by a degree in journalism. It was a degree in biology, uh, which I then followed up with a degree in journalism. This was the 1970s, when neither biology nor journalism were any passports to any future. Because biology means you had to pass your pre-medical and get into a medical college. If you then went on to do a bio biology degree, it meant you were not good enough to be a doctor. And then you were in lost cause. Because the career choice was to try and become a vet. Or, uh, I love animals. Uh, to try and become a vet or try and do carry on studying and do microbiology, biophysics, something like that. And hopefully uh, something will take you in some direction. <coughs> So this was the 1970s, but very early on, I realized that I liked looking around. I liked to notice things that others found dull or boring. I saw patterns where others saw random lines. Why? Because I, people ask me when I go and speak to young journalists or similar convocations in uh, journalism institutes, what is the basic qualification of a journalist? I tell them the qualification is not good writing, the quali qualification is not knowledge, the qualification is not control over the English language, it is not GK. The first qualification is Q. 